Yes, thank you. Good evening, honorable members of the Central Hollywood Neighborhood Council. <laughs> My name is Kenneth McKenzie. I live in Hollywood for 50 years. I moved here in 1962. And um, I started as a, as a dish watcher, like Milagro says, at the Copper Skillet, at the corner of Sunset and Gower, which is dead inspector now. That was my first job. And uh, and I started in business about 40 years ago. And uh, I own about five acres of real estate in Hollywood, prime. I, I reinvested my money here in the United States at Hollywood. I never sent any money to Peru. I might have sent $100 a month maybe to my mother, but no investment there. I reinvested here. And, um, I live in Vine Street, in that area. Many Peruvians live on between Melrose and Sunset on Vine Street. I was one of them. Many families, students. There was even a car club in that area called the Sockies. I was one of the members. And I hung out with the Hollywood Rancho Market. Many movie stars were all the time. That was in the evening and in the daytime, and I was in the Cahuenga Park. It was a public swimming pool. They are turning it down now. And uh, so I've been in this area for 50 years. And, um, and I have some serious concerns and <coughs> some opposition to this project. By the way, I'm not for a Peruvian village. I'm a Peruvian American. Here's not, uh, it was an article in the LA Weekly, January 4, 2013. It was in the main article, it was in the front page of the weekly, saying there was a Latino cleansing in the Hollywood area. And I hope they, there is some opposition is not related to discrimination against Latinos. And uh, I urge you for really looking to the people supporting this because it might be discrimination and playing into their hands. Because uh, that's not American. That's not acceptable. And uh, some people may use it. So please look into it. Because I believe there's some, it's related to the other it's a very serious paper. It's Latino, it's people who want Latinos here. I don't know why, well, it's a long story. But uh, please look into it. It's serious. I hope it's not a discrimination against the kingdom like the other witnesses. Thank you. Okay. Uh, we're, I'm going to go ahead and start. I, I, I can do it reverse, but I'm going to go ahead and start over here uh, since I started uh, counting over here, so I'll let you go. <coughs> and then when he's done, if, uh, I know the next two of you wanted to both speak as well, so that's the kind of history, and then we'll figure out where we go after that. Good uh, evening. I'm not Peruvian, I'm Mexican, and I'm really honored to be Mexican. Even if some people have some social difference, I don't mind. Uh, Hollywood is a dream. It's a dream for the whole entire world. Who in any corner of France, uh, Germany, not think about Hollywood? Hollywood don't belong to you. I say it with the respect. And uh, the privilege is not come to take anything out of you. Hollywood belongs to us who are the filmmakers, who do is the center of the culture. And for those who, who don't appreciate the culture, those are the ones who strongly oppose, because they don't know what culture means. And this is the most multicultural city in the whole entire planet, in case you don't know. Maybe you, you have missed that part. And it's important for you who oppose, for instance, <coughs> Mr. Hollywood Mayor, that's how you call yourself, Hollywood Mayor. Uh, we have to cultivate culture. That's how we live in this city. And for those who oppose, maybe they don't understand the culture. Peru Village. Peru have 
is one of the Latin America who have very good cinema and it belongs here. It's not because you say, I don't like it. Well, maybe we don't have to like so much each other, but we have to learn to live together and do business together. And I hope you consider, if you have not had the chance to see the history of Peru, just go look into it, how many movies Peru does. And this is the movie area. Maybe some of those who oppose, they don't even know the entertainment business. I do, because I'm a filmmaker and I'm the director of Broadway International Film Festival. If you don't know much about culture and cinema, I can tell you a little bit. Thank you.